What's going on and welcome back to Knife Life EDC. Just thought I'd do like a top five video. I've been carrying a lot of crossbar lock knives and they're honestly one, one of my favorite like t locking mechanism knives. Um, so I thought why not just go over some of the knives I have, like my top five. And I may even throw a budget one in there. I don't know, a budget blade one. But my number five, just to start it all out, kind of get right into it because I like crossbar lock knives. And yeah. This is the Hogue Deca. Um, this is the Collector Series, so it's a little bit more expensive. Um, again, it's number five on my list. Um, I don't know. It, it's Honestly, it's USA made, so that's always great. I love USA made knives. And I think it's a lot of people would probably have this higher up on their list, I would think. But for me, like I love the locking mechanism for Hogue. Like, they just do a great job with it. But there's other parts of this knife that kind of get me a little bit of the thumb studs like i love the color the blue and everything like that but the the thumb studs they kind of dig in a little bit like if you flip it a lot you know it's going to kind of get you a little bit after a while but um great knife love the way it opens um love the way it looks love the oh crap what's that trinium tritium tritium i can't remember what it's called now crap but it's a glow in the dark little little crossbar lock right there i think Okay, this before I get into everything, each like company has their own name for the crossbar lock, you know, crossbar, um, or bar lock. Um, I think Kogue is called the Able Lock. Ah, crap, see, I can't remember them all. I just, I, I'm not gonna say. I'm just gonna say bar lock. I'm gonna say bar lock. Keep it general. If I think I know what it is, what their company's calling it, uh, I'll say it. But I may be wrong. No. Not 100% on them and uh, no promises. So um, this is my number five, like I said, and it's just honestly a great knife. I didn't say the steel it is CPM 20 CV. And I've done videos over all these knives. So if you guys want to go check them out or something like that, that's like an individual video, excuse me. You can go check them out. They're um, obviously do a search and you should find them. But again, that is my number five. I love that knife and I love the blade shape and everything. Now this right here may be a problem for some people for my number four. And it is the Benchmade Bug Out. Um, I know a lot of people like it. They go back and forth between which is better, like Hogue and Benchmade. I actually did a video between these actual two knives right here. And I, I, I honestly, I love both of them. I think they're both great knives. I think in the one video, I think I may even said Hogue was my top one at the time that I like to carry more. But um, as of right now, like it, it really is like the Benchmade Bug Out. And it's only because it's this particular one. Uh, it is M90 or excuse me M390 steel and I just I really love this knife I it was hard to put this at number four I almost like it a little better than that but um the next knife I do like just a little bit more but I love the aluminum scales on it or I can't remember what's aircraft aluminum but the aluminum scales like the design and everything and the, like just the the milling and everything on it are just it's awesome and it looks really freaking good like they did a great job on this, and I think that's why it really is my number four. Is just the just the handle, the scales, and everything. It just looks great, and I love the the red um thumb studs and the back spacers and all that type of stuff too. But um yeah, that's my number four. I really do love it, and honestly, for the I will say it does have problems with it tightening up because it does. I've been told like you're either gonna have a little bit of wiggle or wiggle or you're gonna have a great like locking knife. Like you can't have both. So you're gonna have a little bit of wiggle or it's gonna get stuck a little bit. I gotta kinda I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Like it doesn't always come down so easy, it's so smooth. I need to kind of tweak it a little a little bit more. But I don't know. I just kind of saw someone else saying that. Like it's either gonna be like a locking knife where it's gray and sturdy. There's not gonna be any movement or anything like that. Or you're going to have a little bit of movement and it's going to close very smoothly and great. So it's just, I don't know if I explained that right. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't even know. But um, I need to tweak it a little bit better. It's got a little bit of wiggle, but not very much. Like it's minimal right now. But um, I kind of want to, maybe I just need to get a little lube on a KLP or KPL on it. Might need to do that again. It's been a while since I've carried it. But um. Great knife, great lock, bar, I can't remember what that uh, bar lock is. Like I said, they have a different name for all of them, not sure. Um, but great knife overall, love it, great steel, M390, can't go wrong, beautiful scales, what's not the like, right? All right, 
Now this one is from Hogue again, so I got two Hogue knives on there. So they're the same locking mechanism. These are a little bit different. As you can tell, like they have a little bit different designs. Um, if you look, it's the same. There you go, I get better look. It's the same as the same as the thumb stud on this one, on the Deca. So it's the same, like I guess shape or something like that. I'm not quite sure what to say, but it's the same design, I guess. But this is the Sig Sauer K320. Um, they did like a mashup with them, you know, like Sig Sauer started working with Hogue on some stuff. They have a bunch of different like shapes, uh, blade, different type of blade, um, blade shapes and uh, scales and all that type of stuff. So they, they did a lot of good work together. I really love it. Like it's a real good meaty knife. Like you're not going to go wrong with this. I love the, I can't remember what that is. Maybe it's a uh, aluminum scales with the walnut and um, insert. And I love the pocket clip too. This is I, it's number three just because of the pocket clip too and like the scales and everything. I love the walnut insert, but um I like these little things right here because it's actually easy to get out of my pocket. I found out what those were a while back because uh, um a subscriber told me actually I didn't know what it was. I think I, in that video I said I didn't know what it, they were necessarily for, just maybe like design wise. But um it's actually they actually work pretty well. They're actually pretty cool. I never realized I actually used them to pull out of my pocket, but um it's actually kind of cool. Little, little little things on the knife that I like. Um, what is the steel on this one again? I can't remember. This is the CPM S30V. There you go. Um, like I said, I really like it. It's a little bit heavier out of all three of these, obviously. And it's a little bit bigger. Let me see if I can get them to where you guys see the size of them and everything. There you go. See, it's a little bit bigger. It's quite a bit, like, wider and, like, longer. But I like it, though. Like, it's a slicer, like, I've never had to really sharpen it. I've, all, I've stroked it a few times, and that's all I've ever had to do. And it, it sharpens it right back up. Like, it's a great knife, and you can choke up on it and everything. And I don't know. I can't go wrong with it. I love the way it flips open. I do sometimes have problems flipping it open like that. I don't know if it's maybe because my fingers are kind of short. I can usually get it, but sometimes it kind of... Well, I'm doing pretty good so far. So we'll stick with that. But um, great knife overall. Um, so far, this is the cheapest knife. These are over, I think this is uh, just under three. And I think this one may be just north of three right now, the Hogue Deca. I think it was like 320 the last time I checked. Um, again, my advice, look for knives that are on sale because they usually come on sales. Um, I think I got this before Christmas and this around Christmas. This one, like, this one was like one of my first, I guess, expensive knives that I bought. But I look for deals around Christmas time or holiday, just holidays in general. That's usually when you're going to be able to find most of your good like deals and everything. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe around 4th of July, stuff like that. Um, Black Friday, probably, obviously. There's always Black Friday deals going on. So be on the lookout. Check them out. Be ready for them. And this was my most recent purchase. Yeah, this is my most recent purchase. And... I think it's been like a couple months ago, actually. I haven't bought a knife in a little hot for, I guess, probably a hot minute. So maybe a month, month and a half. But this is the Kunwu Pulsar. Now, this is my number two. And it was really a fight not to have this at my number one. But my number one is, it's just, I think it was like my, I think I, it was my second crossbar knife I bought. And it's just always been a great knife. And... That's why that one's number one, though. But this one, like, it's, this is, actually, this is called the XT, I think, bar lock, locking mechanism, XT. But, um, this thing is, it's smooth to open up. Like, all Kun Woo's, I have another Kun Woo knife, and they just open up so smooth. Like, it's, it's kind of ridiculous, to be honest with you, how good it is. And for the price point, like, this one was just above 200 uh, it, this one was like a hundred some, I think just south of $200. And this was just north of $200. So for the, for that, what you get, like you get, uh, I don't know, I didn't tell you, LMAX steel. There it is right there. And so you get premium product, like you get the titanium orange peel uh, scales. You get the nice pocket clip and everything. Um, it just, the work that they put into this, like it's just stupid for the price. Like it's, it's great. Like, you have the cool little backspace right there in the lanyard hole. Like, got a little bit of the milling or texturing right there. And then, like, the jimping right here is pretty pretty good. That's Kaiser jimping almost. I would say it's almost on that level. Wish it was out a little farther, but that's just me. 
Um, nice little twirl right there. You could choke up on if you need to. And this is just, I love the way it looks. It is one of my favorite knives. I do carry it the most at the, this moment. Actually, probably the knife, two knives I carry are both come with like that the most at the moment. But um, it opens smooth. Um, like I said, I, I just said that earlier. It's just because it's true. I can't get over how smooth it is. But um, it has bit me, and it's actually, actually, so I've had this knife probably two months now, and it's the scar. I think I just got a scar. Like, it's, I think it's finally healed overall. It just left me a little, little, you know, scar right there. A little reminder, I guess, of uh, opening it up the first couple times. But um, like I said, you're not going to go wrong with something like from Kun Wu. Um, let me see, there you go. Yeah, you can kind of see the texturing on it, on the orange peel. It's It's nice, I'm telling you. You will not be disappointed if you ever buy Kun Wu. And like, uh, I want, it's so hard because I want to buy all of them. I want to buy every knife by Kun Wu right now. They have a, quite a few out there, but I just got into them like four or five months ago. And I've only got two right now, but that is my number two. And for a good reason. Now, before I go to my number one, I'm just going to do a budget one. It's under $100. I think it's like $60, I think. And it should be no surprise because it is a really great budget. If I were in like a top six, this would be my number six. But um, I kind of wanted to keep it above like the hundred dollar range. But um, this is the Vostid Raccoon, and honestly, it's a great, great knife for what you pay for. It is fourteen C twenty eight N. There you go. Great steel, like for it, like it's a for the price. Like I said, it's like fifty, sixty bucks. Like. I love this knife. It oh well, I didn't open it very well right there, obviously, but it opens well. It closes pretty good. I had to put some KPL on it just to kind of get it working originally, and it just needs to broke in a little bit. But ever since then, it's always open and closed pretty smooth, except for that right there. I think I just need to put some more KPL on it. It's been a while since I've carried it, but great knife. It's got that as black Macarta scales. Great, they they feel great. Um, not it's a deep care pocket clip not quite though pretty close though but everything's recessed on it too so that's pretty cool i like that especially for a budget knife like you can't beat that then they have like a little filler tab right there if you ever you know need to reverse it out they have that little tab right there so it's not like a hole so that that's for 50 60 bucks this is you're not going to go wrong so if you have a little bit of money and you want a crossbar lock knife this is the one to go to i would say to go to I'm sure there's other ones out there, but um, this is my favorite at the moment. I know they're supposed to be coming out with, I think, on White Mountain Knives. Um, I think they're coming out with a blue aluminum frag, I was told. I'm still waiting for it. I haven't seen anything out on it yet, but uh, I'm still waiting for it. We'll see when it comes out, because when it does, I'm going to jump on that, because blue's my favorite color, which you'll see in a second. And for number one... It should be no surprise, I guess, for a lot of people, because it is just an awesome knife, is the Kaiser Drop Bear. Now, this is actually my second one of these. I do have a black one with the with the purple, or I guess, yeah, purple magenta, I don't know, purple uh, thumb studs, and I, I have loved the Kaiser Drop Bear since I've gotten it, and I've had the black one since probably... It was before Christmas. It's probably been seven, eight months since I've had that. And the black one, excuse me. This one I've only had like a four or five months. But um, yeah, that black one, it's both of them. They're just they're, they're stupid great. Like I can't, they're smooth. They close and open great. You're just not going to go wrong. Plus the price point. I think for the black one, it was 120 I think this one may have gone up a little bit because it was a White Mountain, it's not a White Mountain Knives exclusive or something like that. And for the blue scales, I'm like, I guess it was like 130, maybe a hairball more. I'm not quite sure. It wasn't much more though, but I had to have it because blue is my favorite color and I needed a blue knife. But what I love about this is, like I said, is the crossbar lock. I've never had a problem. You can change the resistance out and I can't remember. I think you can also change out the resistance on maybe the Kun Wu. I don't know about the rest of them. I can't remember. I think maybe the Vossied, you can actually change the, uh, the springs out on it, too. Crap, I can't remember. I think you can, though. See, that's another thing why you should get a Vossied Raccoon. 
because if that's the case i think it is you could change the, the tension out on it and make it to what you want maybe that's what i need to do i haven't messed with that yet so maybe i need to change that out but you can change it out it comes with extra springs on it um like i said it this is a great knife uh, the reason i like the jimping so much is i can also like reach out there and not miss it see as you can see it's over half the blade it's probably three quarters of the blade and if you want to get out there a little farther, you can get out there a little farther with the jimping. And that's why I always compare everything to Kaiser jimping because Kaiser jimping is obviously, um, obviously my favorite. I, there's others that come close, like the Kun Wu, like I said. Like, it's pretty close. I just wish the Kun Wu came out a little farther. The Pulsar, um, if it did, it'd be great. It'd be the perfect knife. I'd probably, it'd probably be my favorite knife of all time. And all, honestly... If the if that jimping would have came out farther, I might have it might would have taken it to number one. I'm not sure, but um, I guess in, like obviously it's, this is number one for the opening mechanism for the bar lock. I would have to say this is the best one. I think in my opinion, especially for the price point too. Like I said, the pulsar is pretty good. They're all pretty good on the opening, except I don't know. Drop bear just does something to me. I guess it's a great knife. I did not tell you the steel. This one is there, maybe 20 CV. I don't know if I can really. The lighting sucks, my bad, guys. Yeah, it looks like 20 CV. I can't see on the camera, but yeah, it's it's 20 CV. Trust me, trust me. I can read it a little closer than you guys. My camera kind of sucks. Maybe I should get a new one. But um, that's kind of like my top five plus the little budget one in there. It's a honestly. Kaiser of drop bear is probably the shortest one of them all to be honest with you um that's just my favorite ones i know everybody else has their own um i didn't want to go up in price point these are just the ones i own also but um there's also a lot of more expensive knives out there like crossbar lock wise and i, I don't i don't have that kind of money yet you know obviously i do this on my own like buying knives and stuff like that no one buys them for me or gives them to me I just do my own thing with them and um, make videos on them or review them. So this is just like what I have. And honestly, I think what I'm doing is pretty good in my little, my top five. But um, if you guys have any others out there that are pretty good in price point, but um, I should check out, please honestly let me know down in the comment section because I love bar lock knives and more the merrier. Like I, this, these aren't even all of them yet because I know I have like five or six, probably more at least that I have. They're more like on the budget friendlier side, but um, plus I have another drop bear, like I said. But um, yeah, if you have any like comments or suggestions, let me know what they are. Love to hear them. And if you like the video, just give it a thumbs up, please, and uh, just enjoy the rest of your day.